Welcome back, Mike McGady, Account Manager and Product Specialist with 33 Mile Radius. Today concludes our breakdown of Google My Business, and we're going to dive into the world of analytics, into the insights field listed within your Google My Business dashboard. If you've missed our other blog posts, have no worries, they're listed on our blog at 33mileradius.com forward slash blog. So as I stated earlier, we're going to break down insights. We've already optimized our listing. We've set our geo-targeted areas. We've optimized with photos, had direct posts in our Google Plus pages, and now we're ready to see how this hard work is paying off. And in typical Google fashion, they have plenty of data for us to choose to work through to make sure that we're reaching our targeted audiences and then ultimately getting phone calls or visits based upon our efforts. We're looking at the home page of our Google My Business listing dashboard. And as you can see in here, it breaks it down with insights, our reviews, YouTube, Google Plus, Google Analytics, and a field that's not listed in here, Google AdWords Express. Today, we're gonna to jump into insights and just see how we're doing based upon our optimization of our Google My Business listing. The listing field is broken down into visibility, posts, and audience. Within the visibility tab, you can see that the page views, clicks, driving directions, and phone calls. Within the views, we can see the total number of searches, total number of page views on our Google+, our views of posts, and then the views of our photos within the last 30 days. We can also see in the clicks field, total number of clicks to our website, total number of clicks to Google Maps for directions, and then also clicks, most likely in the mobile, mobile uh, view, calls, phone calls. In the driving directions field, it'll show us data there's not enough to report right now based upon people who have requested driving directions to our location. And then again, in this field, without having enough data, breaking down how many people have reached out to us in the last four weeks or 30 days. In the views tab, you can segment it based upon the information that you want to see. If you just want to see the total number of views, great. Or let's combine them and see the total number of views versus the total number of searches. And the same in the clicks field to break down the total number of clicks just to get an understanding of who's actually come to our website based upon the clicks to our Google My Business listing. In the posts field, you can see the type of posts, uh, the data for the posts to your Google Plus listing, and then also your most recent posts and the number of reach. And then you can even break it down based upon the segmentation of your new followers, followers by country, gender, and age. You're going to find most of your most useful data in the visibility tab to give you a better understanding of the efforts that you're making and how impactful that they are. This video concludes our efforts in educating you further and making your Google My Business listing even better optimized. For further information in regards to Google My Business and industry-related blogs and conversations, you can visit our blog at 33mileradius.com forward slash blog. Thanks for visiting.